right, I think that I am live. Let me uh, turn that off just like that. I think I'm live. It looks like I'm live. Hopefully I am live. We'll see in just a moment if people say that they can't see me. Hello, everyone out there to the uh, people live and the people recording. Hello and welcome. Today I think we have a little fun little broadcast here, live stream, broadcast, whatever you want to call it. And what we are going to do today is I'm going to talk about the awesome thing that is Google Trends. We can use Google Trends to find trending topics that are happening today and to kind of predict the future. If you saw my, um, it was a TikTok YouTube short video where there's something that happens every single month or every single year on command that you could potentially make money. And this happens, this happens basically every month. If you live in the United States, you know that Halloween's a big deal and you could use that to make money today and you can predict what's going to happen in the future and you can create content. So let's go ahead. And before we continue, I just want to introduce myself, who I am and what I do. Hello, my name is Alston Godbolt. I'm here in the dark because it's about 87 degrees in here. Um, usually when I do the live streams, it's really warm. So I'm, I'm here in the dark. I'm here. I'm awake. It's just really hot in here. Uh, I might bring up the, the temperature check in just a second. But anyway, um, I create content to help people make money online. Um, I'm one of the few channels out there that, that don't recommend downloading an app and, you know, doing some of that other stuff. I actually want to try and find different things that really help make money and do and find things that people are doing. So if that's something that you're interested, if you're interested in like the real ways to make money, not like the get rich, quick, fast turnaround type of thing that ultimately doesn't work because I've tried a lot of that stuff. Um, four or five years ago, before I, I got serious with making money in affiliate marketing. I tried watching YouTube. No, I tried watching. Um, I tried those survey sites where they say you can watch surveys and make a hundred dollars watching surveys that that never happened. Um, that never happened for me. So I, I go about it things a little bit different. These are all methods that have actually worked for me and I try and share them with you so that hopefully that they can work for you. Um, so on this main channel, I talk about all sorts of different ways to make money, um, affiliate marketing, digital products, um, web hosting, you name it, I talk about it. If you want to only learn about affiliate marketing, if affiliate marketing is only important to you, and check in, let me know where you're from, uh, wh where you're from, um, if you're a subscriber, if you're brand new, if you're just kind of checking out to see what, what it is I'm talking about, comment and I will respond. Um, if you want to learn more about affiliate marketing, this secondary channel that I do only talks about different affiliate marketing programs. In my opinion, there are thousands of programs out there that are begging to give you money, but we only talk about Bluehost. We only talk about Amazon. We talk about Shopify. We talk about in click funnels. We talk about the big ones. We never talk about the other ones that are lying underneath the service. Like earlier today, I did this one with big commerce. Big commerce will pay you up to $1,500 for a sale. And really very few people talk about it. So um, if you are interested in different affiliate programs, you can check out that channel. I just started it not too long ago, uh, but I create content about four or five days a week on that one. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Earlier this week, I think maybe yesterday or the day before, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I did a quick little YouTube short slash TikTok video slash Instagram reel. And I talked about Halloween, H-O-L-L-O-W-E-E-N, uh, Halloween. And what you'll notice over that will change just over the past five years. Um, so over the past five years, you notice that Halloween spikes on command consistently every single. So right now we're at the beginning of it. We're, you know, we're kind of halfway up. But if you look at this Halloween spikes at the same time, it's going to uh, peak probably October 27th through it says November 2nd. And if you are looking at it like this, you see that there's opportunity. What you could have done going back um, consistently, you could have started August 1st, you could have started, it's not too late to start now, but you could have started at the beginning of September and August and started creating content about Halloween. But now, now you might think, hey, that's not possible, we're outside of that. Think about the, the, um, think about the, the things that are coming up. So what's coming up? In, in, in the United States, we have Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Uh, so that's a big one. We have Black Friday coming up and what you could do <clears throat> and and I want to try and give real actionable Opportunities here. So we know if you look at this Thanksgiving's coming up right 
and it's about to go crazy. So if we look right here, um, what today's to, tomorrow's gonna be October 1st. So according to last year, it was at a two as far as interest over on Google and YouTube. And if we look on October of 2019, once again, September is the early period. And if you are on the forefront, you can start using this as an opportunity. <clears throat> and you're probably asking, well, how can I, how can I do this? You could start creating content today. You could do like 30 days of Thanksgiving where you create different content. You find different finds and let's just use Amazon. For example, we could go to amazon.com and on Amazon, we can find different Thanksgiving things and create content about it. So, um, thanks, uh, Amazon's a giant search engine. So you could go thanks T H A N Thanksgiving. I don't know why that word is weird for me, but if I just type in Thanksgiving, you can see here, they have Thanksgiving decorations, tablecloth, inflatables. Hey, you could create content on, on inflatables and then recommend Amazon or Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, Thanksgiving decor, disposable, disposable, uh, uh, disposable face mask, easy for me to say, table runner, pillow covers. And what you could do is you could do 30 days of Thanksgiving and you could create content about 30 pieces. Thanksgiving quilt, you can go through each letter of the alphabet and find something that is of interest to you find 30 of them in fact and <clears throat> excuse me and create content here and you could start making money and if we go over to youtube here we'll go to youtube.com just to show you that this is what people are doing and this is how people are making making money in a variety of ways you can see that this is a real opportunity um, it will take work obviously you'll have to create the content do a little bit of research but you know that if you do this this year it's going to pay you back every Thanksgiving and you could essentially do this for Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Christmas, New Year's, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day, <clears throat> excuse me, um, any holiday that, you know, we're interested in the United States, there's going to be a huge market for it. So if we go over to Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, spell it right, as you can see here, people are looking up all sorts of stuff for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving recipes, then you could promote um, a recipe book. Maybe there's a recipe book dedicated to Thanksgiving. You could promote that. So let's take a look at that. Thanksgiving recipes. And you could just do, you could probably do like a week worth of Thanksgiving recipes and then refer them over to different um, recipe books for Thanksgiving. As you can see here, um, these videos are all from four years ago. If we do 20, we're, tw we're in 2021, 2021, hit enter and see if that any change if that changes anything but you can see that you know this is an opportunity to create new content so this video from two weeks ago um new modern thanksgiving recipes to try five thousand subscribers 43 views look at this one um this video was uploaded 10 months ago forty-eight thousand views they have a million subscribers but i think there's lots of opportunity when you look forward so this is just one way to use google trends you can kind of predict when when to start creating content if you did uh black friday black friday here is where um is where most companies go in the the black because they sell stuff at a discount black friday here people start looking for fr black friday discounts and if we go over to youtube once again and it doesn't have to be youtube it could be facebook or TikTok or instagram if we just type in black friday um, why can't I spell Friday, Black Friday, you're going to see people are creating content about Black Friday, Black Friday Madness, Black Friday, uh, some of these are, are songs, but um, let's go back over here, people are looking up Black Friday deals, let's do that, Black Friday deals, hit enter, and if we go back over to Google Trends, you're going to see last year was kind of an anomaly, in my opinion. We had some stuff going on where people weren't as focused or concerned this year people are no longer concerned about other people's health in the united states and so we will um if you can see here look at this november 24th it gets exciting but if you look september 29th so what you could do is you could start talking about black friday deals and a lot of black friday deals are leaked early a lot of it's speculative a lot of stuff that you could create is what you'd like to see go on sale for Black Friday. Make a Black Friday wish list. Look at this. Uh, the deal guy from 10 months ago, uh, 384,000 views. Top 10 Black Friday deals 2020. 
Uh, and then he's actually updating it hourly. So every hour he's got more deals. You could talk about Walmart Black Friday and Amazon Black Friday and Best Buy, and you can make money in a variety of ways. Look at this. Um, this person from one week ago, 1,000 views, 33,000 subscribers, Walmart Black Friday 2021 deals, Walmart Black Friday 2021 this she's on the forefront she sees what's coming around the corner and you can do the same thing for christmas when people are thinking about christmas they want christmas gift ideas for mom and dad and your uncle and christmas gift ideas for five-year-olds we'll say because you know people are asking these types of questions but if you look here i mean i i don't mean to jump around but if you look there's a lot of opportunity should you wait till black friday to buy a tv in 2021 uh, 4,000 views, 9,000 subscribers. So you can see th there's opportunity. Um, I think Gina Smith here is kind of dominating, or excuse me, Gina Schweppe is dominating this where she's got Walmart Black Friday deals. She has Target Black Friday deals, 1.8 thousand views, 33,000 subscribers. You can, you can see she's on the forefront and she's looking at this. Another one, 30,000 views, 15,000 subscribers. The seven best Black Friday deals of 2020. And people are doing this over and over again. And this is your opportunity to be successful. If you're looking for something like a quicker turnaround and you could kind of plan on this being successful, you go over to Google Trends and you look and see, okay, well, we know that this is about to pop. This gets really popular September 15th. Right now it's at it's at a zero. It's really low. But you know that people are get, get real interested toward the end of, end of September. So right now I could create all of my Thanksgiving stuff right now and then get people over to Amazon or Lowe's. Like if we look up, I believe it was like Thanksgiving inflatables. So if we type in Thanksgiving inflatables, I N F L, there we go. So as you can see, people are looking up Thanksgiving inflatables. And one thing, I don't know if you guys noticed this, the Google search results are now showing up in YouTube. So uh, before YouTube had its own search results and then Google had its own search results and now they're kind of intermingled now but if you look at this um, official 2020 Thanksgiving inflatable display top result 7.4 thousand views 33 331 subscribers so you could create content about the 10 best inflatables for Thanksgiving and people are are looking for this they're looking for ideas they're looking for they want to see what's out there and you could do this for every single every single niche um, and the cool thing is, is Amazon is going to tell you if we go back over to Amazon and we do Thanksgiving inflatables once again, inflatables, we'll do that. And Amazon's going to tell you what's important. They rank it by featured. And this is, this tends to be what other people are looking at as well. So if we just click on this one, air blown inflatable, uh, 10 foot Thanksgiving Turkey yard decoration, we could copy this. If we go here. Uh, let's copy this just like this. We're going to copy this and then we're going to go over to YouTube. We're going to paste this in and hit enter and see if people are copying this name and, and searching it. Um, so as you can see here, how to set up an inflatable yard decoration from seven years ago. Um, this one from two years ago, but what you can do is you can copy the name six foot inflatable Thanksgiving Turkey yard decoration. People are copying and pasting and they just want to know basic things. So you could create an entire channel around holiday stuff. And as you know, in the United States, we love to celebrate holidays. And so this can be a no brainer. So every 30 days you focus on something different and continuously uh, put out content and your old content is going to be relevant the next year. And then your new content will be basically an update. So this is just one way that you can use, um, you can, you can use, Google Trends to find faster traffic. Again, as you can see here, we jump on it. We know that it's going to be exciting starting towards um, in the first couple of weeks with Black Friday. You can do the same thing with Christmas. Um, I was over at Lowe's the other day and I saw Christmas decorations already out. I saw Christmas trees. Christmas. Hopefully I spelled that correctly on a live. Uh, so if we look at this, once again, Christmas is starting to bubble up. In fact, Christmas is happening uh, Christmas is coming earlier than expected. So if we look at this, um, we go to September. Okay. So again, September 5th, it's at a three. 
but we know that it's going to shoot up and you can start coming up with Christmas ideas and you can use a combination of Amazon to help you with keyword research or you could just use Google uh, or YouTube. So if we do Christmas, hit the space bar, you could create a video with the 10 best Christmas songs. And then if you, if, if you find an affiliate program for like Spotify or a music streaming, you could put the link in the description and say, Hey, look, uh, start streaming on Spotify or, you know, Apple music. They have an affiliate program, start streaming on Apple music. And that's how you could make money for the Christmas season, Christmas lawn decorations. Um, what else do we have here? Christmas inflatables. Christmas movies. You could rank the 10 best Christmas movies and then link them over to Amazon. Hopefully you guys can see that this is a real opportunity that people are real are, are making real money. Um, and they're just, just using what people are already naturally interested in. You solve those problems. You answer the questions. Let's do Christmas movies. So if we do Christmas movies, you could create a, a list, a listicle of the 10 best Christmas movies of all time. Um, these are all Hallmark movies. You could remove, you could review Christmas movies and then put a link to Amazon. Say, pick up your movie. Um, Home Alone 2, I think, is one of the best movies out there, according to some people. I kind of like Friday with uh, Ricky Smiley. That one is hilarious. Um, so as you can see, this is an opportunity as well. So this is short term. This is what's happening now. What you could do, what's happening, um, what you can, how to use Google Trends to plan for the future is we could um, we could go to Google Trends and then we could go over to their trending searches. And I like doing this to help me find ideas for now and later, now and later. Um, so you can use this. Um, dog the bounty hunter. So you could use this to help you find ideas for both now and later. If we look at this, you could simply create content. And then um, I actually used this yesterday or the day before yesterday to talk about um, what was like Mercury retrograde. I'd never heard of re Mercury retrograde and I didn't know what it was, but I used it to potentially find content to make money. In that video, let's see if I can find it real quick. Um, it says best affiliate programs. No, Mercury retrograde 2021. In that video, I showed you how how CNN is making money with Mercury retrograde. Um, it's, it's funny that, that, that works. If I just, let me just see if I can search it. Um, Mercury retrograde 2021. So if we do that and I found that right on Google trends. So this top result here is CNN had no idea what Mercury retrograde is, but if we look at this article, this article could be filled with affiliate links. If we go here, what is Mercury retrograde effects? Um, but birthday co, has an affiliate program. You put your affiliate link there, you make money. Um, this, these rocks here are crystal set for 1450. Etsy has an affiliate program. You put in your affiliate links there and you could potentially make money. And this is on CNN. CNN's a top probably 100 website in the world. Um, this neck thing, neck massager, 49.99 on Amazon. I don't want to subscribe. Um, affiliate program, this one right here, uh, Bear B is uh, an affiliate program that's managed by share sale. These um, herbal tea bags, Amazon, once again, Etsy. As you can see, you know, this is all content and Mercury retrograde apparently is happening now or, or just ended. And so they're using topical information to sell stuff and to make money. So if we go back over here, I don't know if Witch Baby Soap has an affiliate program, but that would be interesting. Um, if we go back over to Google Trends and we take a look, Bengals or NFL, Grey's Anatomy, that'd be an opportunity to promote something like uh, a streaming service. Big Brother is CBS or CNN. Again, uh, streaming services. You can go through. Um, LaShawn McCoy just retired. You could use that as an opportunity to promote or sell his jersey, his Eagles jersey one last time. If we go um, Shakira, you could sell uh, concert tickets. But you can use this as an opportunity. Gap has an affiliate program. Richard Sherman just signed with a sports team, with the Buccaneers, you can sell his jerseys. But as you can see, you can use this to find ideas. So right now we found both long-term, medium, and short-term ways to make money. What you can do is you can actually use Google Trends and marry it with Twitter to find even more opportunities. If I scroll through here, let's go over to real-time searches because these are searches that are happening and that are important 
right now. So if we look, um, this talks about the Super Bowl halftime show. If I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about FanDuel. They have an affiliate program. StubHub has an affiliate program. Um, and you could always obviously promote different streaming services. Um, Dr. Dre, Beats by Dre. Um, you could promote Amazon. There's a lot of opportunity when you just kind of look at stuff. Um, um, Apple Music has, has an affiliate program. Um, I tried finding a soccer affiliate program. I couldn't find one, but that was interesting. Wendy's, uh, Jaguars football, the Rolling Stones. <clears throat> Excuse me. As we scroll through, you can see there's a lot of opportunity just with within w within Google or within Google Trends, and you don't have to really work that hard for it. If we scroll all the way up, the cool thing with Google Trends too is you can ch change the category. Maybe we only want to talk about business. And the other thing that I wanted to talk about at some point was how to use the morning news to find keywords and keyword phrases. Because in the morning, I go, I go to the gym every morning at 4.30 and they have on, on one channel, they have um, MSNBC. Is that it? No, CNBC for the, you know, they have the stock ticker at the bottom. Another channel, they have Fox News. Another channel, they have CNN. Another channel, they have HGTV. I'm always looking at the the CNBC. I'm always looking at the stock ticker, not because I'm worried about stock prices. You should never really worry about stock prices unless you're a day trader. I'm more so looking at different ideas where I could go back and do a little bit of research. For example, we could look up something like NXPI, which is a semiconductor. Um, let's see, we'll do NXPI. PI is a semiconductor stock, as you can see, NXP semiconductors. If we look at it, we could potentially get some ideas for some keywords. We'll have to come back to that at some point. Maybe I'll do a live stream to talk about that. That's kind of like a weird nerdy thing that I, I like to do. But if we look at this, you can scroll through and you can find different opportunities to potentially make money. Now, again, this is just in the business space. You can change this to entertainment, sci-fi, tech, uh, sports, top stories. You can do any of this, but you can use each of these examples. Zoom might have an affiliate program um, where you do a little bit of research. So what we could do, one easy way, would be to just click on this. And what we can do is we can click on the article. I think there's an article. Yep. We could click on this article and I'm going to actually open up Ahrefs. And what we're going to do is we're going to look and see if there are keywords within this article and come on, there we go. So we go to Ahrefs just like this, and then I'm just going to sign in on the other screen so that you guys don't see my username and password. So I'm signing in and what I'll do is I'll go back over to the uh, site explorer. So we'll go site explorer, drag this over up here like this. All right. And what we'll do is let's find that article once again. And so what you can do is you can use this to just get ideas. Now you probably don't want to try and compete for whatever it is that that, that article is about. It's going to be really competitive and really difficult, but I like to use large websites for keywords and then use small websites to, uh, uh, excuse me. I like to use large websites for niche ideas and then small websites for keywords. So if we look at this, um, this, this article, it doesn't actually rank for any keywords, but we could, let's delete all of this like that. And then go to that. So street insider is going to be a large, large website. See it ranks 14,000. They have 594 keywords. Let's click on that. Sometimes my Ahrefs gets weird when I try and click on large websites. Like it doesn't let me use Udemy. I think it is or Etsy, one of them, but I've clicked on the keywords. Let's go back over here. So if we scroll through, um, one interesting thing that happened regionally that probably hasn't gotten much notice around the, the world is, um, the Chicago bears are looking at moving to Arlington or Arlington Heights, which is a suburb of Chicago. And so there's opportunity there. When you think about it, um, there's going to be people that are going to want to check out that new stadium. So you create content speculating about the bears move and you compare that speculation to some of the other stadiums. And then you could promote something like hotels because people are going to want to see that new stadium. They're going to be building out a bunch of hotels. You could promote Expedia. Um, I think Priceline has an affiliate program. Um, what's the other one? Tri TripAdvisor has an affiliate program that you could all be affiliate for. 
tires you could promote tires there's just a lot of opportunity out here when you just take a look so let's go back over to uh let's go back over to a href so uh, street insider has a ton of keywords and you could go through and find these niches based on the keyword so i saw amazon wells fargo banking um, things like that so if we go back over here uh, amazon once again Roku has an affiliate program where you could create content and start getting traffic. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this. Dollar Tree actually has an affiliate program as well where you can create content. Um, the best way that I would promote Dollar Tree is they have little gift packages that you can send out to people. So like they have gift packages for military and teachers and all sorts of stuff. And you can promote those and earn a commission that way. <clears throat> so always keep scrolling. Uh, YouTube, Arby's, um, you guys have any questions about these this is how you can find different keywords and keyword ideas just type in something that you know and really just go from there and then you can kind of work backwards um, reverse engineer is the fancy term for working backwards figuring out how people are actually going about making money but it's um it's easy if you want to put in the time and the patience Sometimes it, it just doesn't happen right away. It doesn't click. But my favorite thing, if, if you're just jumping on, my favorite thing to do right now, uh, this giant uh, inflatable turkey, my favorite thing, my recommended thing would be to create content like 30 days of 30 days of Halloween because we're right now we're in Halloween and then do like 30 days of Thanksgiving and then or 30 days of Thanksgiving slash Black Friday, 30 days of of um, Christmas you can do 30 days of New Year's Peop New Year's is a huge niche if we typed in uh, if we typed in New Year's New Year's uh, for the New Year's you could recommend calendars you can recommend as you can see headband party dresses decorations dresses for men dresses for women <laughs> dresses for men um, New Year's dress for women there's a whole entire niche if we look up New Year's uh, let's go back up to our search bar. We'll go home and then we can do, and you can also use the year in search to kind of predict what's going to happen in the future as well. So we can do new year's. Um, let's just do, let's do new year's Eve. Let's see if that's a good term. So again, with new year's Eve, you're going to see that every predictably over five years, there will be a spike where people are become interested you hop on that trend again last year was kind of anomaly we weren't really allowed to go out and do a whole bunch but if we look right here september 8th people start getting interested in new year's eve create a bunch of content new year's eve right here uh october 25th if we go back let's see september so here we got a late start but predictably in october people get excited about new year's eve create a bunch of content if we go back over to YouTube, you can do this with TikTok. You could do this with Instagram. Um, you could do this. You probably don't want to do this with LinkedIn, but you could do this too. You could do New Year's Eve. Uh, we'll hit enter. Hey, Sunday. Thanks for checking in. How are you today? Um, New Year's Eve movie trailer. You could say, you know, best New Year's Eve decorations for 2021. I mean, this is all, it's all predictable. And if you plan ahead, you could potentially make money as long as you are helping people out. We could do, um, we could do best. Let's just add in best and see what happens. Best space bar, uh, best new year's Eve vacation. So people that want to get away, you could be an affiliate once again for travel advisor, or excuse me, trip advisor, travelocity, Expedia, all of those trip places, booking.com, all of those places have affiliate programs. Uh, best New Year's Eve parties, people that are planning parties, you could lay everything out um, from decorations to uh, recipes to all of that stuff. And then you could be an affiliate for all of it and tell them to click the links in the description to get up and running. Um, best New Year's Eve celebrations, fireworks, destinations. So it looks like people really want to get away. And what you could do is go through each letter of the alphabet best new year's eve vacations in the u.s so if we go through q you i mean you can see this just go through each letter of the alphabet and you're going to see different ones that pop up so you could do 30 days of new year's eve um, if we did holiday schedule again you're going to see predictably what people are searching and when they're searching it 
and you can marry you can marry uh, you could marry YouTube, Google Trends, and Amazon, and make and kind of predict when you make money. Um, now, obviously, it may not happen for you, but if we do New Year's Eve party supplies, this is probably a niche in and of itself. Look at this, all of these different party supplies. And this is $109. So if you made 3% commission, you're making what, $3 per sale. Uh, but if we look over on YouTube, we can kind of get an idea of, let's see, New Year's Eve party supplies. Let's try New Year's Eve party supplies. Um, party supplies, party supplies. P-A-R-T-Y because I gotta. Party supplies. Party supplies. All right, so I typed in New Year's Eve party supplies. I actually typed in patty supplies. But from a year ago, New Year's Eve party supplies, 160 views, 7,000 subscribers. Uh, the one below it, 111 views. Now, again, last year's kind of an anomaly. We didn't really go outside. DIY party supplies. That could be an interesting way to go where you teach people how to create something and then you refer them over to Hobby Lobby or um, Michael's. They have affiliate programs you refer them over there and potentially make money. But if we scroll through here, look at this, um, target new year's Eve party supply hall dollar spot and more. She only has 11,000 subscribers, 3.5 thousand views on this video. But I mean, predictably you can do this. If we, what's the next holiday after what's the next holiday after new year's Eve, maybe, um, Valentine's day. B-A-L-E-N-T-I-N-E, Valentine's Day. I'm not a good speller, guys. So if I spell word wrong, it is, uh, it's because it's, it's who I am. So we go over to uh, Google Trends once again. We're going to type in Valentine's Day. And if you plan ahead, you can make money. So again, last year's kind of an anomaly. Excuse me. Last year's kind of an anomaly. The year before that, people got interested in Valentine's Day. We're going to say in December. Early December, people started planning. Use that planning to your advantage. Create best Valentine's Day gift ideas for, and if we do that, let's do that. Let me show you, for example, uh, let's say, is this making sense, guys? Let me know. Best, we're going to paste in Valentine's Day. Boom, right here. Best Valentine's Day songs, best Valentine's Day gift for boyfriend, girlfriend, um, campaigns, surprise best Valentine's Day gift, but you could create this type of content and potentially make money. Let's see what we look at here. Best Valentine's Day gift for boyfriend. If we look at this, top result, 701,000 views from two years ago. Hopefully we see she has 184, this person has 184,000 subscribers. The one below it though, 149,000 views. So look at this. The one below it, has only 7,000, only in quotes, only 7,000 subscribers, but 149,000 views. If that's not the opportunity that you're looking for, then, you know, I don't know what is. If we look at the one from seven months ago, he only has 1,000 subscribers, but has 1.8 thousand views. So there's lots of opportunity if you plan ahead. And you could go over to, once again, you can go over to Amazon or you can go over, um, K has an affiliate program. One of the one of the ring places has an affiliate program. I can't remember. Is it? I don't know if it's K Jewelers or Zales. I think it's Zales. Zales is the one with the affiliate program. So if we go over and we do a Valentine's Day gift um, gift ideas for him. So what you could do is this is almost like content arbitrage. Let's call it content arbitrage. So what we're doing Valentine's Day gifts for him. And then we go over and we create this content right here. And what you can do, if you go back over on Amazon, you sort this by average customer review. So you pick out stuff that people really like, and then you create this content. You recommend whatever it may be. Now these actually aren't really good ideas, but you can see how this works. You create the content. Google Trends is gonna tell you when to create the content. As you can see, predictably. Now remember, last year was a, was an anomaly. We had some stuff go on. And it was kind of like a weird blip here in, in April. But what you could do is grab yourself a calendar. You type in like holiday, holiday calendar. 
uh, holiday calendar 2022 and that's a niche you could create content on holiday calendars but if we look at this holidays and observations you could plan your content out accordingly uh, so let's see where are we at here um, uh, let's see if we can find it I don't remember I think I think Valentine's Day is in February Groundhog Day you could create content about Groundhog Day that's interesting let's go over to Etsy this time because people are creating all sorts of weird stuff over on Etsy for every single holiday so we go to Etsy.com and once again Etsy has an affiliate program you can also create content you can do like Groundhog Day SVG let's see if they have SVGs that are out uh, SVG oh come on mr. computer there we go SVG hit enter and a few months ago I showed you how people are creating simple SVGs and making money um, based on holidays so as you can see people can create these SVGs over on Canva for free and then sell them over on Etsy um, what did I do I think I did like Memorial let's do Labor Day I think I did either Labor Day or Memorial Day Labor Day SVG hit enter you could do the same thing with Memorial Day you can do the same thing with uh, let's see here we go down here these are different SVGs that people are selling you could do the same thing with Valentine's Day I think uh, V-A-L-E-N-T-I-N -E Valentine's Day SVGs now you could there's two ways to do this one you could be an affiliate or two you could create the SVGs yourself or really hire someone to do it over on over on uh, Fiverr but if you look at this Valentine's Day SVGs boom lots of people making money and if you want to harvest or what you could do let's see if this works sometimes my my Etsy's don't doesn't work so if I scroll up here and I go to Etsy Etsy.com hit enter and while that's working we can go back where is it so we've got Valentine's Day SVGs where you could make money you could hire someone to do it yourself you could hire someone or you can do it yourself uh, we can do um, Halloween Halloween SVG and let's see what we got here boom holiday Halloween SVGs this is an ad these top four are ads but this one right here is selling for a dollar you can look at their entire collection look at their entire store for ideas if we go to she shed craft store you can get ideas now obviously you don't want to copy or steal their work you are just looking for inspiration um, you can look at all these SVG bundles sports true crime workout uh, Christmas SVG this is how I kind of find I stumble across keywords I jump down a rabbit hole and then weird stuff happens like this so Christmas grandma SVG Christmas Halloween fall you can do a fall SVG um, wine camping inspirational nurse teacher inspirational and all of these basically kind of have their own little holiday and you could do look at she's got 25 pages worth of stuff I wonder can we filter by SVG so yeah let's search SVG here and you can again either you can either do this yourself or you can hire someone to do it over on Fiverr but you can see she's got a ton of SVGs if we go over to uh, let's go to this one and let's include SVG SVG like that and we're gonna look at only the keywords that they rank for that include SVG unicorns you could create unicorns sunflower heart Grinch would be great for Christmas Fortnite, among us you could create all of these and one thing that I would recommend is try and sell this yourself you could sell these yourself right on Facebook open up a Facebook account and sell them yourself you can make money that way but let's look up unicorn SVG and see what is happening so we go over here copy that and we are going to scroll up to the top and we are going to type in unicorn SVG hit enter and let's see top four are ads if we look down below this people are creating different unicorn SVGs and making money so you could do this too and this all just kind of happened by going through and doing random research kind of like structured random hole diving is what we'll call it structured random hole diving where you get an idea based on random thoughts like we got here 
because we were talking about holidays. We were talking about Valentine's Day SVGs, and then I started talking about Labor Day SVGs, and now we're on the whole SVG kick, and we can see by looking at Ahrefs that a lot of people are interested in a lot of different SVGs. And what we could do, let's go over to Fiverr and see how much it would cost to hire someone to do an SVG. Or you could do it yourself with Canva. So if we go over to, I think we wanna to switch to buying. This is my, all right, so we go to buying and I'm gonna type in uh, SVG, SVG, hit enter. And what you can also do too is you can do custom request and then you can make money that way. So if we go over, I will deliver Adobe Illustrator work in SVG, PDF, AI, or EPS. So what I would request them do is, and this is $10, you can discuss the order, you can get the work, place the order. As you can see, you can make a request and have it put together for you. Um, I would actually look at this one, it's only $10. I will provide SVG cut files, design bundle for Etsy and others. So this person already understands the game. This one right here, um, she, he or she under, understands the game and what our goal is. You can hire someone to do it for $20, post it on, on Etsy. Um, you could do one a month for all of the different uh, SVG options or do it based on, on holiday or just random idea that you have. You could even put in a custom request as I mentioned uh, I will provide SVG cut files, PNG, PSD for $10, 15 design, only 15 designs, only $10. So you can see here, these guys understand the game and you can make money on it. Um, if, to make your money back, you would need to, if you sold it for, uh, let's go over to, uh, let's see, you sell them for $1.45, you probably would need to sell 10 or 15 to make your money back. But this is an opportunity as well. Guys, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, let me know. Put them in right now. Um, I'm going to wrap this up because I am sweltering. If you're watching the replay, comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff because I think this is a cool idea. I really like Google Trends because there is a number of opportunities for short, medium, and long-term uh, making money as long as you plan ahead. Um, everything from Mercury retrograde all the way up to um, SVGs. You can make money that way. So guys, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section on the replay. If you're live now, comment. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if this made sense if or if you felt like this was just kind of like empty rambling um, that had no direction, which you know it kind of is. But when you're doing research and you're just kind of matriculating around the internet, that's kind of what your research is. You research, you go where your research leads you, and our research led us to Unicorn SVG. So make sure if you join late, make sure that you watch this to figure out how I got to Unicorn SVGs and how you can make money with it. So uh, guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. We will see you tomorrow.